friends. Hey, hey, hey. I was gonna say good morning because that's usually my shtick. Hello and good morning, but it's more like hello and good evening, friends. <laughs> Happy Friday. I am excited to open up the vlog with you guys. This is an exciting vlog. We've got so much to catch you guys up on. Um, I am probably gonna wait just a little bit to be able to share some information when I'm with Sean. Um, I was gonna pick up the camera earlier today, but really honestly, we were just doing a bunch of stuff around the house. So um, I'm picking up the camera now because we are getting ready for dinner. And if you, if you guys know, if you've been hanging out with us, Friday, we have a burger tradition. We have burgers every single Friday night. It is glorious and I love it. Um, we usually alternate between In-N-Out Burger and Famous Burger. But because Sean didn't go to work today, um, he is making the burgers for us tonight. So I am here for it. He makes a an amazing burger, a mean, mean burger. So, so good. So I'm really excited for that. I'm actually starting to get hungry and I think we're getting ready to whip up our burgers. So figured I would go ahead and pick up the camera, welcome you to the weekend vlog. And like I said, we've got so much stuff to catch you guys up on and I can't wait to share it all with you guys. So welcome to the vlog friends. Welcome to the vlog. So we are getting ready now to whip up our burgers. I will say, um, Sean actually did a pretty big grocery haul yesterday. I wasn't quite ready to open up the vlog with you guys yesterday. So I don't know if you're going to see like an actual grocery haul. Probably not. Huh? Mm, probably not. Maybe like if we forget something and we'll show you one or two things, but it was a pretty massive grocery haul. Yeah. Um, it, he was like, the, your friends are going to miss there it. He's going to poke my eyeball out. There <laughs> There's pointy. There it, is, <laughs> there it is. That's what the people asked for. Um, so, but tonight we're doing burgers. We are doing the crawfish Monica this weekend. So, so much good stuff. So much good stuff. So just figure out what So much good stuff. So um, tonight we are um, going to throw just some tater tots in the oven as our side so but I'll, I'll show you the magic that is Sean making hamburgers it's riveting content Burger night at the Rowberries officially underway. We've got our burgers and our tots. And I decided to be all fancy like with my pickle on the side. Um, so Sean's burger, we've got uh, a Miracle Whip mustard combination for the spread. Fried egg, cheese, there's my alarm. Cheese, burger. I prefer my burger to be more like a hockey puck, so that's why mine was on longer. He likes his to be cooked a little less. So, all right, we're hungry, let's eat.
Hey friends, hello, good morning and happy Saturday. I am kicking off my Saturday with a nice cozy cup of tea. I I don't know about you guys, but during the cooler months, I it just it gets it gets no better than tea. I just I love a mug of hot tea. It is so good, so comforting, and it really like sets my tone for the day. So, um as you can see, I am in my office. Sean actually decided to go into work today um, since he took yesterday off since we were doing some stuff. Um, but today we are going to be sharing um, our exciting news with you guys. Um, I think we're going to talk about it during the Q&A. So um, stay tuned for that. But burgers were absolutely incredible last night. I don't know what changed. Like, Sean's burgers are always amazing. Um, but we did get a new hex clad pan that like, it's like, it's ginormous. <laughs> Absolutely. So what you saw, the pan you saw us using, um, last night for the burgers, it was brand new. Um, I don't know if it's that or, or what it I don't know what it was, but I was telling him, I was like, these are the best burgers I've ever had in my life. <laughs> like so good so so good so um he actually said he was like actually i was kind of thinking the same thing but i don't know why it would be because we we do the same thing um every time he does burgers but anyways it was it was really delicious but tonight we're actually doing the um crawfish monica so we're really excited for that um <clears throat> but before that i'm just gonna be kind of treating today like a normal workish kind of day since sean's not home um i I'm working on invoices because this coming Monday we've got so many amazing launches that are coming out. We've got um, Sense of the Season collection that's coming out. Um, the Oogie Boogie Scentsy Buddy is being released. We also have our Holiday Limited Edition Warmer that's coming out. It's just it's incredible. It's incredible and I'm here for it. So um, I'm just getting the final invoices sent out. Um, I'm hoping I can get them the rest of them off today because today's Saturday so that way it gives um, you know a little bit of time for, for people to see their invoices and get them paid and all of that jazz so um, with that being said and then I will be cleaning myself up at some point and looking like a normal human being uh, because I think we are going to be doing the Q&A today so um, other than that that's really about it for what's going on. Um, because I'm just going to be working on that. I also have to work on the vlog because <laughs> I just started the vlog. Um, this last week was just absolutely crazy. I totally fell off of the YouTube bandwagon, um, meaning I just fell off of my schedule. So I'm hoping that next week um, I should be able to get back into a routine of things. So here's here's hoping, but you guys will find out why my week has been um, a, just a little bit crazy. So um hoping to get back into the swing of things there but I do need to work on the vlog because that's going up tomorrow today Saturday so tomorrow so I'm gonna get to working but wanted to say hello and good morning um I will check in with you guys in just a little bit uh to give you an update happy Saturday Ranger <laughs> what are you doing bud what are you doing you like the green screen you like the green screen all right, friends, doing our afternoon check-in with you, and my man is home from his Saturday workday, so we are going to be hanging out, chilling, watching some college football, but before we do that, we're going to do the Q&A with you guys. It's been, it's been a week. We, have, we didn't do Q&A last week, so we've got some things to catch you up on, so let's get ready for Q&A. There it is. There it is. Hey, friends. It's time for Q&A with the Roberries. Hello, hello. Did you miss us last week? Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. I think this is going to be an exciting one. I think it is. We'll see. Ah, yes. Ah, yes, yes. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Welcome back to everyone's favorite talk show within a vlog on YouTube. Roberry Q and A. Welcome, welcome. Where you've got questions and we've got answers. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh, welcome back. Since we took a week off, lots of stuff going on around the house. We'll dive into that here in just a little bit. Uh, let's see some products of the week for products. me for Sean. Uh, nice little surprise here. The Dallas Cowboy mini warmer. Yeah, he yeah. was so surprised. I didn't tell Sean that we had gotten the mini warmer. We had the full size um when it, when they first were released but um i surprised him with the mini didn't even tell him we got it and i just put it in our bathroom downstairs and he was like hey 
That's amazing. <laughs> so super cool. Yeah. Um, really, really like that. Yeah. Is it going to be coming with us to Dallas? I think so. Excellent. I think it must. Excellent. Excellent. And then also we're working our way through all those uh, bags of chips that you sent in. That our friend uh, Aaron sent in. Uh, yeah. My favorite chips. <laughs> yeah, those are really good. <laughs> really good. These, uh, is this Miss, Vicky's. Is it? Miss Vicky's, the spicy dill pickle. Oh my yeah. goodness. And then the latest ketchup is uh, pretty darn good so as good well. so we are working our way through those thank you again aaron for sending them to us we are enjoying them perfect uh okay is that it i think that's it all right well let's get into it let's, let's get into it shall we let's have some fun also, just quick update. We are going to be doing the uh, room redux donation. You said we're going to do it probably next weekend, right? Probably. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it'll be a, a couple weeks. Okay, so just just so you, you guys see it. <laughs> just so you guys know, it there is still the results to to come. The, just a timing situation, so that yeah. is still to come. Yeah, he was kind of out of town. Not what kind of he was. He out, was out of town. Out of town, and then back, and then they have a uh, room next weekend that they're reduxing. Uh, so we'll definitely get it over to him before then, mm -hmm. and then pictures and all that to fall. Yep. All right, let's get into this. This first one's from our friend. Bree. Hey, Bree. Hello, Bree. Bree had some uh, very nice things to, talking about the room redux uh, and congratulating me on the uh, award with the Rotary Club. And then also uh, a shout out to Lisa for being very inspiring in her Sensi journey. She joined in May. Hello, $20 join special. Ooh, yes. And she's already a superstar consultant. Very cool. Amazing. Congratulations. That's incredible. So nicely done there. She's got a few questions in the email. Uh, let's see this first one. And so uh, Miss Lisa here doesn't know uh, any of these, but uh, this first one, who would play each of you in a movie about of your life? Oh, gosh. I would say, um, I mean, this is like, this is like really, I think, probably reaching a little bit, but it's okay. I would say Sandra Bullock, I would hope would be like oh, a, that's a good Sandra Bullock for me. Yeah. And um, Van Wilder for you. Oh, yeah. That'd be pretty good. That's... I was thinking like the classics, you know, Denzel would be good. Denzel uh, would be good. <laughs> Denzel. <laughs> You're because you're going around and doing Denzel stuff. Yeah, uh, Denzel, uh, like you know, Brad, Equalizer, Brad Pitt, Brad know. Pitt. Yeah, you know the classics. The classics. Um, Who would you choose for me? Yeah, Miss Bullock. Okay, cool. Yeah, I think those those are really good answers. I think so. Uh, if you were stranded on a desert island, you can only take three items with you. What three items would they be? Chapstick. <laughs> Did you know I was going to say that? No. Chapstick, Sensi Go. So then, does that mean my pods have to count as? No, nah, well, that's all. Okay. Obviously. And can I bring you, or is it a product? Well, you would be my. You would be my number one, by the way. You would be my number three. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, all right, it's just products. I'm assuming. Okay, so chapstick, Sensi Go with pods, and I mean, if we're, on, I don't need a flat iron if we're on. <laughs> <laughs> if we don't have electricity <laughs> my phone but we're i that's not i'm not gonna have any cell service i don't know i just my chapstick and my sense go and pods mm. well for me i would say you <laughs> well you i, I would say you. the dogs they make. yes the dogs we have two dogs you we know. have two dogs i'm thinking like actual products i'm that i'm thinking products yeah uh you the dogs and probably my guns would be my three well, I lost at this game. <laughs> okay. Uh, next question. Realistically, if we were to leave California, uh, where do you think we would move to? Hmm. Where do you think? Uh, let's see. Ready? Go. Idaho. And some exciting news. This is what we have been talking about. We're moving. Mm -hmm. We are actually, we're pulling the trigger. We're getting the ball rolling and we are moving. We're moving to Idaho. So, um, Gah! <laughs> craziness so as i have been saying i said a few times um this vlog and then as well as the one from last week we've been like doing stuff around the house and stuff it's because we're getting it ready to go on the market so the timing of everything is a little bit wonky and weird because i am having surgery in next month in december and so basically as soon as i am recovered from that we're we're we gone we, we're gone we we're gone. leaving so yeah. pulling the plug yep uh, i'm gonna 
get out of law enforcement uh, as far as like in a sworn capacity. Uh, who knows what I'm going to do up there. Um, pretty, pretty scary, pretty exciting though at times. Um, I mean, she's been saying it for years that she was going to work her sensi business uh, to be able to retire me and get me out of law enforcement. And that, that time has officially come. So yeah. I could be, could be happier. I uh, can't wait to get up there. Uh, and like I said, who knows what I'm going to do. I'm just going to be helping out doing sensi uh, in the beginning. May end up just sticking with that. And, uh, or I'd still like to do a little bit in law enforcement in a, like a civilian row role. Um, still do some forensics. I mean, I have all the computer forensics training. I'd like to continue uh, in that field in some capacities, but uh, yeah. who knows? We'll see. Exciting. God, uh, so, uh, crazy. Yeah, the, the house is um, it is a lot of, a lot of work, and we weren't like obviously we're not like hoarders by any means. No. But you just you you accumulate quite a bit of stuff, and so <laughs> we're we're going through and working on getting rid of all that. Um, Cause we moved into this house, it was brand new in 2008. And we moved from a little 700 square foot apartment <laughs> to this house. And I mean, this house swallowed us whole. And so over the years, we have filled it. <laughs> and so, you know, just going through and, you know, getting rid of things that we don't need and selling stuff that we don't use and things like that. And just, you know, getting, getting stuff ready for yesterday. Our big project yesterday was um, rearranging our bedroom. So it's more simple and you know, like just very simple mm. and just ready so yep exciting yeah. exciting so, so we'll, we'll see within i mean realistically a, a perfect world hopefully within six months or so we would mm -hmm. uh we'll be up there somewhere outside the boise area uh close to home office for sensi and and where things are things are moving yeah moving and shaking. i was telling sean i was like you know we'll, we'll just tell all of our friends that i'm sorry but I just, I've had it with FedEx. Yeah. <laughs> so we're moving yeah. within 50 miles of home office so that I can go pick up my orders. <laughs> have to do it. Have to do it. So there you have it. Cat's out of the bag. Yep. Perfect. Perfect timing, Bree. Uh, yep. Thank you for that question. Uh, her next question in this email was regarding the Sensi uh, displays that you have in the office. Mm -hmm. uh, so she was curious where you got those. So you'll post uh, the tag, the link. Is he still doing it? He's not doing it anymore, oh. unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Disregard. disregard. Um, yeah. The gentleman who made mine did an amazing job. He was on Etsy. If he, if I can find a new link or his shop or whatever, I will no, it was, it was eBay, not Etsy. It was yeah, eBay. eBay. Um, if I can find his shop to be open, I will link it in the description. Um, otherwise you can go onto either Etsy or eBay and you can search warmer stands, wax warmer stands, and you can, um, you can try to find those. Um, I know when I had done my video on them, he had gotten a bunch of requests and I, he fulfilled those, um, those orders. And then I think he kind of closed up shop. So I, I, he, he did amazing with them yeah. so i think there was a few different options on ebay yeah so yeah so check, definitely check them out there check those out and then uh lastly we look forward to seeing you and many other folks in sfr as well yes so yes that, yes yes that'll be here before you know it i know Perfect. and in person yep and world tour too whoop 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 thanks so much Bri oh geez here we go here we go thanks so much Bree. Ooh, oh, ooh, that nice. hits you in the face sorry a good one <laughs> all right just a couple more uh, let's see. This next one's from our friend. Laura. Hi, Laura. Hello, Laura. Laura has a question regarding the air purifier. Wants to know if it tends to suck up some of the other fragrances from the other warmers that you have going on uh, in the same room. I have not found that to be an issue. I have not. He has not found that to be an issue because um, he can definitely still smell the home fragrance. I can still smell the home fragrance. Um, I don't find that it, it does that. I know there's that, that. I don't know. Some people say that that's a thing, but... I haven't found that to be the case. Um, I will say that um, the pods, using the pods in the air purifier, it's not an amazing scent throw from that. I still use my my wax and my warmers and stuff. So um, I can smell the pods that are in the air purifier, but it's not like crazy room filling. So there's there's that. But I don't find that it like takes away or hinders the performance of my wax and warmers regularly. But we also have 75 warmers in here. That's going to be the biggest and hardest thing for me to do when we put this house on the market. You guys know how many warmers I have in my house and I've got to like pare it down so that people who are walking through our house to hopefully buy it don't think I'm some insane lunatic. Uh, and we there. officially have packed our first box and now with two boxes. Two boxes. She packed uh, the first box a couple days ago. I know. So uh, in addition to all the decluttering and 
get rid of everything. Uh, now we're starting to pack, stuff. and yeah. so that office is going to be I gonna know. be a lot. So. <laughs> He's like, have fun. <clears throat> yeah. This is your. Oh, is this nope, that's it. Thank you okay, very much. Okay, thanks so much, Laura. Whoop whoop. Ooh, that was another good one. Nice. All right. Uh, okay, last one, and then we got uh, a little rapid round. All right. This one's from our friend Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Hello, Crystal. Crystal wrote in. Um, she saw the vlog with the last, the last one we did, where the person was uh, signed it anonymous and had a question yes. about the embarrassing moments. So she was just basically curious if we've ever received any questions to the Q and A that were uh, too embarrassing or too, um, too embarrassing, too rated R. Uh, something that is too personal for us and uh, no nothing mm -hmm. nothing yet every question that that's been sent in uh, we've answered mm -hmm. we're uh, pretty open obviously if you put everything out there it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it is what it is yeah. at, at this point um, yeah and I really can't imagine much of anything that, that could come in where we wouldn't wouldn't answer we're just a couple of regular yep. uh, a couple of regular folks soon to be uh, California refugees up in <laughs> Idaho <clears throat> yep so yeah, yeah. Did you want to throw this one? Uh, sure. Yeah. Surely. <laughs> so if you have a question, yeah. you feel free to send it in. If you we, want to accept we are, that challenge. We, yeah, we are an open book. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. All right, last one. This is Woo! Ari's back with a, a we're going to call it a this or that Ooh, rapid this, round. This or that rapid round with Ari. Hey, girl. Sensi related. Okay. All right. Uh, fall, winter, or spring, summer? Fall, winter. Fall, winter. Uh, Disney or Winnie the Pooh? Disney. Uh, Disney princess. I wonder if she missed. Anyway, Disney princess or Disney villains? Prince, Disney villains. Princesses. Princess I. Princess I. <laughs> uh, villains. Villains. Marvel or DC? DC. Looney Tunes or the Muppets? Looney Tunes. Star Wars or Harry Potter? Harry Potter. All right. Woo! That was rapid. That was. I did it. You guys, I did it. I was rapid. Woo! Yeah, no, you no, you, you're excited. Woo! You threw yeah. It. And again. Yeah. And again. <laughs> All right. All right. We got, we got through it. We got there. Thank you guys so much for sending your questions into us. Um, thank you for your patience since we took last week off. If you have a question you would like to ask us, go ahead and feel free to send them into roberryvlog at gmail.com. Also, if you are not already following us over on Instagram, be sure to follow us. We're a good time. Our handles are above our heads. Yep, you would have seen the smash burger last Ooh, night. Oh, the smash burger. How was that smash burger? I, I already told them. Oh. They were the best hamburgers of my life. Mm. And it, yeah, and I talked about your hex clad pan. We weren't sure if that's why it was so good yeah. or if it was just a combination of just the best burgers ever. Yeah. I did. I, I told know, them. I know. It's just a perfect storm. It oh, was, actually, uh, before we go, I yes. forgot. Oh, but wait, there's more. <laughs> As we were going through uh, some of the boxes and stuff. Oh, no. <laughs> I found some of Lisa's greatest hits here. Um, oh no! I found some of her various tickets <laughs> that she got over the years. Why? Why? I okay. Here's the thing. I I am a keeper. That's, uh, speeding. Uh, I'm a keeper of all the things. Why did I keep my speeding tickets? Oh, that's another speeding. Oh, speeding ticket. This one was from three twelve of oh five. I remember that day well. I think he was a jerk. Um, mm -hmm. This one. Was oh, before here's your, I was married. Was it, oh, this was, they were all before I was married. This one you married. got in uh, Washington State. You got your ticket up there. Oh, yeah, that was scary. It was an unmarked. <laughs> it was a red Impala. And we were driving, uh, it was my mom and I, and we were in Washington, and um, we were speeding, and it was a red Impala that pulled me over, and I was like, oh, so that must have meant I was going really fast. Oh, very cool. You got uh, <laughs> traffic school in Placer County. We got traffic school in Sacramento County. Wow, that was 04. Yeah, so. <laughs> anyway, just a little... <laughs> Tickets. Little gems is. Who keeps uh, their speeding tickets? Oh, uh, and then this one was talking about how many points you had on your record. Oh, perfect. So yeah. Anyway. Totally worth keeping. Yep. That was actually in the shred pile, so I'm really glad that you took it out <laughs> to know. share it with the world. Well, yeah, I had it off to the side, and then you put it back in there. Oh, is that why you were asking yeah. where that's? When I. I almost went through and shredded all that this morning. When I, I sent you to try to find a product of the yeah. week, then I moved it back over. Oh, here. you. I say, hey, is there a, a product of the week you out there? Sneaky. So uh, those those were my those were my past rebellious days. Mm -hmm. I am a very safe driver. I drive very slow. Not quite as slow as this guy, but I'm very, very safe. I don't safe. know that anyone drives as slow as I do. I don't think so. Yeah. So there you have it. All right. Q&A. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. Send in your questions. It's back on the screen. <laughs> Roberryvlog at gmail.com. Come hang out with us on Instagram. And don't judge me for all my speeding tickets. <laughs> all, all right. right. See ya. Adios. See ya. You're a dirty dog. That's funny. <laughs>
Oh, looks like your car got towed here too. <laughs> So I just figured I'd do a little check-in with you now that the cat's out of the bag. Um, we don't have a house lined up yet. We are just kind of like keeping an eye on the market to see what's available out there. Um, and, you know, just to kind of see see what's out there. But um, we are, like I said in the Q&A, we are going to wait till um, my recovery after my hysterectomy and then um so we want to get the house ready beforehand so we want it to be completely ready any changes or anything that we need to do any paint that needs to be touched up we want to do that this month um before surgery so that way when i'm done and ready to go then all we have to do is say oh make the call and say okay let's go ahead and put it on the market so and then the wild ride of buying a new house. So <laughs> we'll, we'll see how it goes. But um, like I said, we'll definitely bring you guys along with us. It's crazy. Hey friends, time for our evening check-in with you guys. Um, we, jeez, I'm trying to talk here. <laughs> um, Sean and I, we're working. We um, have some stuff packed up, stuff we know that we aren't gonna need um, prior to us moving and kind of have allocated all that stuff. So. Allocated. I sound so sophisticated. <laughs> um, but now it is time to get ready for dinner. We are doing the crawfish, Monica. I am so excited. So shout out to my girl, Lauren, because I think, I believe it was Lauren that had um, suggested that we do this. So I'm really excited. If it's anything like the etouffee, I'm here for it. <laughs> and the fact that it's going to be pasta. Yes. Yes, please. Um, vlog is almost ready to go up for tomorrow. So that's great. I will continue plugging away um at that after dinner but let's get cooking also in case you did not peep the new pan here from burgers last night this is the new hex pod addition to our collection so we are gonna play around with that again tonight hopefully it makes things taste just as amazing as last night's burgers and then we are gonna watch this pot boil because that's what you're supposed to do <laughs> i'd prefer to watch the water boil Oh, yeah, whatever. What's the saying? A watched pot never boils. A watched a watch pot never boils. So it's not going to boil. That's right. All right. We're never eating dinner.
You guys are we freaking serious <laughs> crawfish monica is officially underway and i'm thinking we need to rethink our move to idaho and maybe we need to move to louisiana if this is what we can eat yeah because yes oh gosh so we've got our salad we've got our delicious crawfish monica we also have our garlic bread let's eat all right you guys two for two that crawfish was incredible incredible we have a massive amount left over which is surprising sean had to take it away from me yeah. <laughs> he was like i was just like dipping little like pieces of bread i'm like oh my gosh this is so good and he he had to take it away from me and put a lid on it so oh my gosh that's so good so good so huge huge thank you to our friends who have been helping us get this crawfish situation in the works because that the both the etouffee and the crawfish monica those will be happening again in this house and soon again, and again and again and again <sighs> we will still be ordering from the same place which is the louisiana crawfish company um serious place an actual did you uh, yeah. oh, i told him i was like this is it we have we have no more crawfish this is not okay <laughs> we need to have crawfish in the freezer at all times yeah so good so wanted to give you the update it was absolutely incredible I, in fact, I actually told Sean, I said, can we have this the night before my surgery? So if I die, I die happy. 
Did I not say that? You did. I did. <laughs> super optimistic. Yeah, super optimistic. No, I'm fine. It'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so now um, Sean's got some football to watch and I have a vlog to finish. So upstairs I go. Hey friends, hello, good morning and happy Sunday from foggy California. Um, reporting in for our usual Sunday morning check-in. Um, we are taking the dogs on a dog walk, but uh, did we tell you how amazing dinner was last night? Yeah. It was incredible, absolutely incredible. And I am really excited for the leftovers that we are gonna have probably tomorrow night. Um, I think tonight we're doing Sloppy Joe's if I remember correctly, but oh man, it was so good. We are here for the crawfish for sure. But before we do any of that, um, we are gonna take the dogs on a nice long foggy dog walk. So come with us. This weight on my shoulder is slowing me down I don't know how it came about And while the world is spinning faster every night I feel I'm stuck in reverse somehow But it ain't no one's fault that I am stuck here No one to blame this on, feeling so hopeless I keep on pouring salt on doing a check-in with you several hours later it is just about three o'clock hopefully that dog walk that you guys just watched had music to it <laughs> oh my gosh total that was user error that was 100% user error I did double check my footage and I just totally didn't put music in the dog walk from last week so hopefully you had music to listen to <laughs> Oh, geez, when that premiered this morning, because of course we did um, hang out with you guys during the premiere. Um, what the premiere is, in case you guys don't know, you will hear us talk about vlog premieres um, every week. <clears throat> and um, it's just basically the, when the video goes up and goes live, then Sean and I are on and chatting with you guys when it does go up. That way, I don't know, it's just kind of fun to hang out with you guys. And if you have questions about things, then we can we can talk about it then. But anyways, um, oh, that was so embarrassing. <laughs> Sean was like, no music. And I was like, oh no, I know I put music in. No, I totally didn't put music in. That was not a software error. That was a user error. So hopefully you had some music to listen to. Anyways, we've just been kind of hanging out and working, like just working on house stuff. That's pretty much what every weekend is going to be going forward. Um, <clears throat> but I figured I would show you the update on our bedroom in case anyone remembers what it used to look like but it's nice it's nice it's very simple it still needs new paint but we're gonna wait obviously paint and i think we're gonna need new carpet will be like the very last things that we do we are meeting with the realtor 
um, I think the 29th, Sean said. So that'll be nice. She can come in and like give us our list of like things that need to be done. I am so dreading it for her to see the office and my my sensei filming room because for obvious reasons <laughs> i have a feeling i'm gonna have to completely take apart the sensei room um the office i'm not that worried about because i'm just gonna box up all the warmers that um that i'm keeping and you know whatever i'm not gonna use um i'll just box up and pack up and you know put them in the garage ready to go but so that's not as big of a deal i can get rid of my like work benches and stuff that are in the office but my filming room I love that. <laughs> that's my, that's my like Zen place, but I, it's, it doesn't look like a bedroom. So it needs to look like a bedroom if we're going to sell this house. So I've just been kind of like working away on projects like that, just going through stuff, um, and things like that. So look at this guy, <laughs> lazy bones, lazy bones. Hi, what are you doing? Obviously we let the dogs sleep on the bed with us. This is more Rangers bed than ours. Easy it? isn't it <laughs> he's like don't bother me let me have my afternoon nap please okay so this is our master and the rowberry pups here <laughs> um so from before so this is our dresser obviously that was actually in our closet before um we did have a couple of um for furniture pieces from Ikea that were stacked up that probably look similar to that but those were like right here um we did have a big tv big plasma tv on the wall but um it stopped working <laughs> so we went ahead and trashed that um this was just an extra tv that Sean had and his like man cave or whatever so we've just been using that we're honestly just gonna pack it up we don't need a tv in here so and it'll just free up um one more like little thing in this room so obviously dog beds when we show the house we will move the dog beds out but um the walls are so bare and everything's just so bare but that's how it has to look so we actually the lighting's gonna be horrible because of the natural lighting that's like coming in right at the camera but our uh bed was actually along this wall because it just it felt it felt right over there i don't know but obviously like with the way the windows are this is how this was set up to be so uh, we've got sean's air purifier over there this is what's hard you guys i um i'm only gonna have one warmer going <laughs> like i normally have my diffuser set up right there as well but um i'm just i'm trying to keep the mindset of keeping things very simple so this is all that's on the wall um so yeah <laughs> we've got that um yeah, and we have our adorable babies. Uh, yeah, so this <laughs> this is our simple bedroom. So there, like I said, we had stuff on the walls. We had um, other pieces of furniture. But when you're selling, you have to make things look very, very simple. So I love that fan. I love that fan. It's staying with the house, but I do love it. So I don't know. Not not super exciting stuff, but in case you're wondering what our master looks like, there you have it. Are you two going to do something with yourselves? Hmm? Why don't you go get a job? <laughs> and our bed will look much nicer um, when we're showing. We'll have, you know, the decorative pillows and all that jazz. But this is just a lazy Sunday here. So that's kind of what we've been working on. Um, bedroom is done, ready to go. And now I need to tackle my areas <laughs> for sure. I am looking forward to not, because I don't know if you can, like... I can see my neighbors. <laughs> Not that I'm like being nosy or anything, but um, somebody's like working on some like woodwork or something. I am looking forward to not hearing my neighbors. I think it'll be great. Right, right, right. Yeah, you hear that? I'm excited to have the windows open and not hear people's yard projects. Huh. <laughs> So super riveting stuff, but figured I would show you um, kind of as we're getting stuff ready, kind of what what we're doing with stuff. So, um, I am going through my warmers and stuff and just making some decisions on like, cause when I, when we show the house, I want to have just like super neutral warmers that are out. Um, I'm, I'm not going to have nearly as many out as I have out normally because people will come in here thinking I'm crazy. Not only that, but some people who are, um, sensitive to fragrance, you know, I want it to be 
there will be fragrance in this house. <laughs> there will be fragrance in this house, but it'll be much more tamed than what it is normally. So um, I just have some difficult decisions on which warmers <laughs> are gonna be out. I'm thinking the Salerno warmers. Um, I don't know, I just, that's one of my projects is going through and like deciding how many warmers to have out. I'm thinking just like one in the kitchen, one in the, uh, one in the kitchen, Maybe I'll do a mini in the kitchen so that way it's not on the counter. I've got, I've got some decisions, some very serious decisions to make. And when it comes time, I'm going to need your guys' help. So when I'm going through and like deciding which warmers will be out, what scent I'm going to have out when we're showing the house, where I should have, like what's too much, I'm going to need, I'm going to need your help. I'm going to need you to be real with me and say, Lisa, stop being extra for five minutes <laughs> because I'm going to need to rein that back just a little bit. Sean ran up to the store, but I may have caught him. Did he? Oh, your blinker was late, sir. You already turned off. Oh, because you turned. Do you have a fun fact? Oh, you know, just in 1939, Joe Albertson founded Albertson's grocery store in Boise, Idaho. Idaho. I honestly thought I was going to get you because you didn't tell me you were on your way home. Yeah, I thought so. I, I didn't think you were going to be out here. <laughs> I was talking to the camera the whole time though. Really? So lots of story time. Thank you for the fun facts, sir. Right, let's start the process of getting me out. <laughs> as you can hear, Sean is home. He went up to the grocery store as you can as you saw. Yes, that was recording. <laughs> he's he's quite the whistler, folks. Um <laughs> And a few of you actually did pick up during the premiere, a few of you did pick up uh, his little Idaho hints from last weekend's vlog. Um, so way to go there. Um, so yeah, let's show you a mini grocery haul. It's gonna be super random, but it's gonna be amazing because Sir Pointus is gonna be here to assist. Gotta go. Sir Pointus. So he went to the store with the goal of taters and greens. And would you look at that? He came home with taters and greens. So we've got the the usual, the bacon Caesar salad kit. This is for tomorrow night. This is for the Monica, Monica leftovers that we have. This looks new. delicious. It is definitely something new. This is to accompany our dinner for tonight. BLT salad with chicken, bacon, and avocado ranch dressing. Can I am here it? for that. I will say, nobody has better avocados than California. So I will probably miss the avocados. Uh, so we can get them from California. Happy avocados coming from California. That's true. Okay, taters. Orida, Oregon, Idaho, uh, crinkle fries. And then Idaho spuds, Jeez, the tops. So, there's so much Idaho going oh on. Oh my gosh, there's so much Idaho I can't even handle it. <laughs> In other exciting news, FedEx found their way to my house. What? Don't get too excited, it was still late. These were supposed to show up on Friday. It is Sunday, but that's okay. I'll take it. They made it. Whoop whoop. Now I'm gonna work on these boxes. So one of those boxes was actually my Scentsy Club order. Um, I think I'm gonna do a Scentsy Club haul this upcoming week, we'll see. But I got something for Sean, so we'll get his first reactions. Oh, Shawnee, I have a surprise for you. It's a brick. Well, come here. <laughs> Blue Grottos in the yeah. Nice. That was underwhelming. I thought you were gonna be really excited. Oh, that's incredible. It's like your favorite scent. Ever. Ever. Man, this is gonna last in our go for a very long time. <laughs> Actually, oodles of oranges. Uh, they have it, they make it in a brick. Wow. And I got it for you. Wow. Happy yeah. birthday. Blue Grottos right there. Would you look at that? Yeah. Oh shoot, made in Idaho. Got enough of the Idaho stuff. <laughs> Gosh, well, that was <laughs> underwhelming. Looks like it's time to uh, swip out, swip out? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Switch out the warmers to Blue Grottos. Got a big old brick to get through. <laughs> nice. All right, you guys, our evening check-in with you is dinner check-in. I didn't show you any of the prep because it's very simple. Um, we're doing sloppy joes and salad tonight and frozen french fries. So th that's the type of meal that I can create. You can see what my husband can do, Mr. Fancy Pants, but I have to do hamburger helper, sloppy joes, things like that. Things very simple. Let me show you how it turned out. <laughs> Here we have it, folks. Sunday night dinner at the Roberries. We've got Sloppy Joe's. Shout out to my husband because he came up with the idea of doing a mixture of ground beef and sausage in this situation. 
it's going to be amazing. We've got some crinkle fries and then a salad as well. So let's eat and watch some football. Hey friends. Hello. Good morning and happy Monday. It is yet another fresh start to a brand new week and I am pumped. I am here for it. Today is very exciting. Typically on Mondays, um, since he launches new things and this Monday is no different except that we are launching several things. We have sense of the season that is launching. We have the up collection, which is launching. We have the, um, holiday, the 2021 holiday limited edition warmer that is launching. We have the Oogie Boogie Scentsy Buddy, which is launching. So much good stuff is happening today. And so, and in just a few hours. So Sean has already been up and at him, took the dogs. This, this is going to feel like deja vu from last weekend <laughs> because it's exactly the same thing. Um, Sean loaded the dogs up this morning and went to go get us breakfast burritos rather than making our own. Um, so we can mow down on those. Um, I can start entering orders here in just a little bit. And, um, then we have what's Lisa smelling and we've got some other stuff we want to do around the house. So it's going to be a busy day. It's going to be great though. So figured I'd pick up the camera, say hello and good morning, let you know what we've got going on for today. Um, dinner was really good last night. We, it was really a pretty chill night. Um, Sundays typically are anyway. Um, Sean was watching football and I was just making sure that I was getting all of my orders and all of that ready for today. So we're ready to go. We are ready to take on this day and ready to take on this week. So happy Monday friends. Oh, good morning. Yeah. I'm not going to do it. I'm, no more uh, people are tired of Idaho fun facts. What? I'm not going to talk about how it's called the gem state <laughs> because there's been 72 different gemstones that have been found there. What? I'm just not going to do it. <laughs> there's, your, there's your Idaho fun fact for this Monday. <laughs> All right, friends. So time for our afternoon slash evening check-in with you. The... Uh, <laughs> The launch from this morning went really well. My husband is munching on our dinner that is gonna be happening here pretty soon, which is the crawfish Monica. And he's blowing that delicious smell <laughs> in my face. This guy. Um, anyway, so yeah, much checking in much later, but this, uh, the launch went smooth as silk. Gosh, that smells so good. Oh my, oh my gosh, Sean Ruberry. Uh, you're, you're not gonna like it. Oh my gosh, um, I'm so excited for dinner. Uh, <laughs> which means I'm gonna tank what's Lisa smelling because I've got yeah. goals in mind. Um, but the launch went smooth as silk. Now all of the all aglow. Uh, Christmas tree warmers are all completely sold out. I'm honestly surprised it lasted the whole week, but um, they're, they're gorgeous pieces. But everything else that launched today is still currently available while um, we are living this current vlog. But once again, I don't anticipate that stuff lasting too terribly long. So mm, that was really good. <sighs> this guy. We should, we should make more of that. We should have some for dinner. Let's do it. But before, we have to do what's Lisa smelling. So let's do it. Record time. Cast your votes now. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, hello, welcome to another episode of What's Lisa Smelling? I had to break out my FedEx shirt because two days in a row they got lost and found their way to the old house here. Oh, that's not good. Sounds about right though. <laughs> no, usually they lose their way on the way to the house and then never actually make it, but they make it. Oh, perfect. Last two days. Excellent. Amazing. Well, hello and welcome back to everyone's favorite game show. Uh, this is episode 44 of What's Lisa Smelling? 44. 44. That was Alice in the band. Alice, thank you so much for showing up thank for episode 44. Thank you, Alice. This is going to be the fastest one in history because I am very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so I asked him, I was like, Did, then I hope you went easy on me. He's like, yeah, whatever. It's all relative. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, glad to see we put some thought yeah, into picking these scents. Get that skew hand ready and uh, we'll go down the hint hole. Oh, perfect. Number. Ah, stop it. <laughs> well, one, oh, perfect. So I don't have to be blindfolded. One five. Time. Yeah. One five eight eight six. Ooh. Which is? No idea. Ah. Uh, all right. <clears throat> Sweet plum pastry. 
Uh, nope, not at this time. Uh, okay, let's get to our first spot. We have new friends this week. Uh, they pay us no money to be here because they have no money. Our friends over at... Wald Bombs. Wald Bounds. I think it's Bounds. Bounds. <laughs> Wald sounds. Bounds. Bounds. Uh, where everything you're looking for in a supermarket and more, Wald Bombs. I think it's Wald Bombs. Bom yeah. Bounds. Wald Bombs. Bombs. Wald Bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wall bomb bomberams or something. Perfect. <laughs> All right, let's get to our viewer comment stick. This is already tanking. Uh, All right, what is oh, that? Pitch? Oh, hold on, hold, oh, on. hold on. Before that, uh, for the people with their um, oh yes playing along at home, they were yes. founded in Brooklyn, New York, in 1904, mm. and went belly up in uh, 2015. Wow, so, that's a really good another run. Another great you run. You know what? Yeah. Way to go, wall bombs. Yeah. Wall. Thanks a lot. I think it's wall bombs. Think it, think is that like a is that like a Walgreens? No, it's a full-on grocery store. Wow. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Walmart, for getting rid of wall Wal bombs. bombs. All right. Our first comment. <laughs> this picture is awful, so thank you so much for that. Yeah. <clears throat> this is from our friend Rachel. She says, oh, man, I hope inflation doesn't affect Sensi products like it has groceries. I'll be in trouble. Which right? picture? Did they send it? Did all they right. send it? No, that's, that's all you. Yeah. That's all you, sir. All right. Next one is from our friend Aria Sense. Glad your mom is well. I like the background on what's Lisa smelling. Uh, I will keep you in prayer. God bless. Thank you so much. Yeah, there was a lot of comments. That was just one that I chose, but uh, there were a lot that were commenting so, on your mom's. So thank uh, you so yeah. much. Appreciate thank it. Thank you very much. All right, last one for the beginning of this episode from ESPN, uh, from our friend Beth. She says, Sean is so matter of fact with his no, no. <laughs> prayers for your surgery and love to watch y'all. Thank you so much. Yeah, perfect. Woo! All right, how are we gonna do? Ooh. Ooh. Yes, yes. Uh, are we gonna go six for six? Oh, do we have extra credit? Sean knows the answer to this one. Without a doubt. Was that for six or six or extra credit? Extra credit. Oh, wow. Better go run up there. Uh, let's see, <clears throat> six for six. It is certain, perfect, because Sean said, you could go six for six, that'd be great, because I'm hungry. Yeah, so, yeah. without further ado, <clears throat> let's right. get this underway here. Okay. Let's have some and fun. And of course, the dogs are playing, but yes, let's have some fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Eh, eh. Coffee grounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, you got your fingernail count. 44. 44. That's right. You want to put your eyes on? Oh, the eyeballs. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. That was awesome one. One got is one stuck. No, they're both down. Ah. But only your right one is one that I've removed. Oh no, that, there it goes. They both move. Yeah, excellent. We're great. Excellent. We're already excellent. doing great. All right. Uh, okay. So. Am I in uh, yep. Perfect. So regarding that extra credit, I didn't have one. But then when I was finalizing the list, I feel like we might have done one of them somewhat recently. So I pulled it, but I still had it down here. So I'll give you. Say maybe two chances to name the scent, and then if you if you get it within the two, then you get the extra credit. If not, then we'll just move on. Ooh, I like that. So you have it. I do. This is extra credit. Yes. All right. Oops. Not the real game. Extra credit number one. Here we go. Two chances. Two chances. Uh, feeling pine. Okay. Woo! Perfect. Right. Yep. Yeah. Woo woo woo! Yeah. All okay. Right. Cause yeah, because we did just do that one recently, right? Okay. That's what I thought. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Good. Okay. All right. Extra credit. Whoop, whoop. All right. Real number one. Here we go. Real number one. Oh, this is nice. Um, this, this is clean, fresh and clean. Is this like Harbor's Edge? Nope. It's not nope. like Harbor's nope. Edge. Nope. Oh. Shout out to Sean Tall, because this one's hard to get out. Oh, it's so good. It's really clean. Um, I would categorize this as fresh. Not fruity. Well, there might be some, like, like, because uh, all I'm getting is Harbor's Edge now. Like, um, some... Edge. I'm gonna have to come back to it. <laughs> <All right. clears throat> okay. Mm. Mm. Well, 
At least I got the extra credit. <laughs> yep. Already off to a great start. Already off to a great start. All right, here's number two. Oh, yes. Um, this. It's fall. It's spicy, sweet, spicy. There might be a pumpkin in this. I don't know. Um. Oh gosh, I know this. So nice. I do feel like there's pumpkin in this. I feel like it's a pumpkin spice scent, but it's not scary good. It's not pumpkin cinnamon swirl. It's not pumpkin roll. It's not cranberry pumpkin spice. Is there pumpkin in this? Uh, we went down the mm -mm. Mm. I feel like there's pumpkin. <sighs> This might go into the warmers right now. This is so nice. <sighs> what is this? <sighs> mm. I think mornings are better for me. Yeah. Well, yeah, hopefully me opening up the leftover pasta didn't do it. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. <laughs> I smell crawfish in my nose holes. Ah, you went through your. There you go. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Number three. Ah, this is tropical. This is Camu Camu. That is correct. Yeah, it is. Woo woo. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So we're getting somewhere. Okay. Maybe it's because I have a FedEx shirt on. Mm hmm. <laughs> Sean. Sean, is this? <laughs> <laughs> Chantal! Shout out to Chantal. She's probably like. Is this sugar cookie? No. Nope. <sighs> Vanilla bean buttercream? Nope. Yeah. <sighs> is it happy birthday? Nope. <laughs> Birthday wishes. Okay. Woo! Well, oh, yeah! Nice. I just had to work my way through all of the vanilla scents. <laughs> yeah. I knew it wasn't simply vanilla because simply vanilla is more floral. This is more bakery. Man, I really would have bet money on that this was sugar cookie. Hmm. Wow. We got there. Yep. Ooh, I think I'll mix this with the pumpkin one. That sounds like a delightful mix. Hmm. All right. If number, that's even pumpkin. Who knows? Number five. Wow, really? Uh huh. I'm I'm doing good. I know I still have to come back to some things, but Oh. Oh, uh, this is wild black cherry? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> yes it is. It's it's cherry. Oh gosh, okay. Take a deep. Did you smell this? <laughs> yeah. It smells like cherry, right? Well, I don't know. You said you smelled it. I smelled it. The other thing that smells like wild black cherry is mulberry bush. Well, why don't we go with that one then? Woo! Yeah! <clears throat> I was like thinking, I'm like, we don't have many that are like just cherry. We've got cherry almond pie and we've got like cherry limeade, but like this is, mul mulberries must smell like cherries. They say. All right, and here's number six. Number six. Number six. Is this the same as that other one? We, this is number six. This Can is, I have the other one that we were coming back to? The, the I feel first like, one? Um, whatever one I said smells like pumpkin. This is, Never. Wait. Yeah, this has never been attempted before. <laughs> <laughs> this, watch out, folks. This, what you're about to witness has never been attempted. This is going to mess with the Earth's orbit, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I 
don't think this is the one that I was thinking. Okay, we'll, we'll circle back to this one. Is that, that's not the first one that I skipped. Is, is that the first one I skipped? No, you said the pumpkin one. Yeah, that smells totally different now. Oh no, <laughs> oh, no, 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 that was a mistake. If you're playing this game at home, folks, don't do that. <clears throat> don't mix and match your uh, scents like that. You can, if, if you're not trying to guess what they are. <laughs> Ah, yes, yes, yes. Um, yes, yes, yes. This is the uh, Haunted Mansion one, the three thumbs up. That is correct. Woo! Yeah! Woo, woo, woo! Yeah. Yay, yay. Ah, yes, yes, yes. All right, back to number one. This is Harper's Edge. Okay. Hold on. I. You know what? Yeah, yeah. You just been powering through. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Number one. Number one. Gosh, I know this. It's fresh and clean. I just, I just, it. And the thing is, I know this. I know, I actually know this. I know you know this. No, 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 it's not Harper's Edge, it's Luna. Okay, we'll go with that. Uh, <laughs> what, 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 I mean, kind of. Yeah, no, I, kind of. I brought both of those to work, so I think they're kind of in the same category. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you for defending my, my wrong guesses. But at least, hey, we got there. This one, I don't think I'm gonna get this one right. <laughs> <laughs> this, so this is the last one I have to get, This right? is it, last one. This is um, number two. Number two. Golly. This is the one that I replaced that feeling pine one with. So this is a last second edition. The only thing, and this is purely, well, it's not entirely, well, I think it might be from the holiday collection, the holiday three bar bundle. Is it Joy and Wonder? No. Mold Cider's No. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I have no idea what the hell this is. Um, well, heck, what the heck is this? Is there, I, I'm going down the hill. Is there a pumpkin in this? Nope. <laughs> well, that actually makes me feel better because I was going to be really disappointed in myself if I didn't get my pumpkin sense. <clears throat> Um, I mean, is it, it is available. Not. No. <laughs> Everything I'm getting is wrong. Well, it's opposite day. It's what? opposite day. It is available not. Do you know if it's in our club? I'm going to say no. It's actually very nice. This is totally up my alley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're totally quiet all day, but now that the camera's on. Okay. All right, let's do the skew. All right, very well. Skew is 65057. It is not available. Not available. It appears to be a, uh, yeah, like a Christmassy holiday collection type thing. It's got a couple little uh, cookies on the front, giving each other a hug. Or they're actually just holding hands, but. Cookies? There's cookies on the clamshell? Is this cookies uh, Cookies for Santa? Uh, nope. Uh, nutmeg, gingerbread, and vanilla. Gingerbread. Gingerbread hugs. Hugs. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. I, I wouldn't have gotten this. <laughs> I mean, oh, this is nice. This is from the sense of the season last year. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, wow. All right, come on back and join us now. I actually really like this. And that is not in our club. No, it is not in our club. Not. No, it is in our club not. This is, wow, this is good. No pumpkin. No pumpkin. No pumpkin. <laughs> and what's fun, oh, you know what's funny? Is that there's pumpkin and ginger in this. I don't know, let me confirm that. Yeah, 
pumpkin and ginger because I thought that's kind of a weird, but I smelled pumpkin in this and there's actually gingerbread. Yep, pumpkin, cinnamon, and uh, ginger. That is correct. See? Wow. Much wow. Much wow. Man, okay, well I, I did fine because right. extra credit. Yep. So how many points do I get? Uh, Final total. Give you a, like a, a 16th because you, you were nowhere near it. So six and one sixteenth of a point out of six. I'll take it. There you go. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, uh, so our, our second spot, or excuse me, ah! our second set of three comments. Yes. Good thing I have a script here. Good thing you have a script. <laughs> this is from our girl, Torella. Hey, Torella. She says, loved it as usual. Well, thank you so much. This next one is from our friend, Cindy. She says, I want to come, come to your house for dinner, please. Come on over. We always have lots of leftovers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And last one is from our friend, Monica. Monica says, I ordered some sauces from Pampered Chef, and they are coming FedEx, taking forever. Finally feeling your pain. Yeah, see? Yeah. It's, it's, it's a thing. That's why, I, that's why I was laughing when you picked out that shirt to wear because I knew that comment was coming. Yeah, and this was unplanned. Sean plans all of this all himself. Doesn't tell me anything. Uh, let's get to our second spot. Our friend's over at? Wald Bombs. It's Wald Bombs, not Bounds. Wald Bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Where everything you're looking for in a supermarket and more. Wild Bombs. Woo! All right. All uh, right. Andy? Debbie, have you heard of that one? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. Only because I'm an honest person. Only because I'm an honest person. I actually didn't get the extra credit. What is it? Yeah. It's feeling... Mighty Pine. Oh. Which is different than Feeling Pine. Oh. Uh, yep. Can I keep my extra credit because I'm honest? <laughs> we'll go, I, it's okay. I we'll got go, it wrong. We'll go down to. We did not do that one. We did Feeling Pine. Yeah. Which smells very similar to this. <laughs> yeah, clearly. <laughs> what? Uh, I'll give, oh, that's so give you a half for, okay. for being honest. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Okay, we gotta do the bar dance. We gotta do the bar dance. All okay. Right. Woo! All right. uh, okay, let's see here. Uh, Andy and the band, take us away. Andy and the band, thank you so much. FedEx! All right, so another week of What's Lisa Smelling in the books, and now your rowberries are hungry. We have lots of the crawfish Monica left over, so we are going to heat that up in a pan. There's not really a whole lot to show you. I'll show you just the fact that we're heating it up in a pan. <laughs> 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 to prove, that we're not using to prove yeah, to prove we're not using a microwave. Not that that makes any bit of difference, but I do like the the pan method because it just it feels like it all like pastas. I feel like being reheated in the microwave, you get like those cold spots and stuff. But this seems like a much more even heat method, if you will. So we're getting ready for dinner. Pretty, pretty exciting stuff around here. Oh yes, mm-hmm. Pasta is also one of those things that you, when you have it left over, it's like even better than the original night that you had it. Uh, yeah, I am excited for this situation. And just like that, in a matter of like literally 10 minutes, we have our delicious crawfish Monica left over. We're gonna eat. Ranger, you didn't close out the vlog last night. Why did you not say goodbye to our friends? <laughs> Why did you not say goodbye to our friends? <laughs> lazy dog. Lazy, lazy dog. Hey friends, happy Tuesday. Apparently Ranger is really slacking around here and did not close out the vlog with you guys. <laughs> no, um, last night was great. Dinner was absolutely amazing. It's just one of those meals. I think I even said it last night was, it's just one of those meals that's even better left over and we love meals like that for us. So um, it's, absolutely delicious. So, so good. And the crawfish Monica is definitely a recipe we'll be doing again in the future and again and again. <laughs> so, so good. But um, anyways, it is Tuesday. I've had a pretty busy day so far. Um, I still have some more things I need to get done. Um, but this morning I had a dental appointment, no cavities, thumbs up. I will say though, I am having two um, fillings replaced. Um, they're not, I don't have cavities, but the they're like starting to fail at the margins so uh, my doctor was like yeah we'll just watch it probably replace it within the next year or so and i'm like 
yeah, so I'm not gonna be here next year. <laughs> um, I think I wanna actually stay with this dentist. I'm gonna be here regularly enough anyway to see my mom, so um, I can just plan to get my cleanings like during that time. So um, I do plan on seeing her again. I just don't know what our insurance situation is gonna be like. So I was like, let's go ahead and do that now. <laughs> let's go ahead and replace these suckers now before they fail. And if they leak and create a cavity, like I just, I'm not here for it. So I was like, let's go ahead and do it. The only thing is that they offered me an appointment the day before my surgery. And I was like, sure. <laughs> and then I got to thinking and I'm like, yeah, that's probably not a really good idea. <laughs> I mean, I'd be fine to go, but I'm just thinking if my bite is off because both fillings are on my left side and on top and on bottom. And if you guys don't care about the details of this, but if my bite's off, I'm going to be in pain because your bite's off for like a few weeks. And after surgery, I'm not going to want to go to the dentist. So I'm going to need to reschedule for like maybe into February, but that's fine. We will take care of that. I'm just thinking the day before surgery is probably not the best idea. So, uh, but yeah, so that went well, got my cleaning done. Pearly whites are all cleaned up, ready to go. Um, and now I've got some work I need to do. So figured I would pick up the camera, say hello to you guys. Also take this opportunity to close out the vlog. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us this weekend and every weekend. We really, really appreciate the love and support. And now that the cat's out of the bag, you guys know that we are going to be moving and we will bring you guys along on this process with us. It's going to be an adventure. <laughs> it's going to be an adventure. That's for sure. We live our lives so boring and dull, but we have nothing but excitement coming up. Um, Sean and I are going to be going to Dallas. We're going to bring you guys along with us. Um, we've got the whole surgery situation and then we're going to be moving. It's a lot more excitement than <laughs> what we're usually, uh, in for, but, um, we're here for it. It's going to be, like I said, it's going to be an adventure and we're definitely going to bring you guys along with us. So thank you so much for the continued love and support. We appreciate you guys so, so much. We couldn't do this without you. Um, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you like the vlogs, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all the craziness that we have coming up. All right, you guys, I hope you have an amazing week ahead and we'll see you in next weekend's vlog. Next weekend, yes, we will be vlogging next weekend. Um, it's going to be a little different. It's going to be different, but yes, we will be vlogging next weekend. So we'll see you next weekend. Bye guys. Every change.